Keep the dopamine, aka motivation circuitry, tuned up properly is to really start paying attention to peaks in dopamine and be very careful about layering in too many things that can stimulate the dopamine system. I talked about this quite a bit in the episode that we did on ADHD and building and maintaining focus. There are many things out there nowadays that will deplete the dopamine system. For instance, and by the way, none of what I'm about to list is necessarily bad. I actually use some of these things. For instance, caffeine will increase dopamine receptors that will allow whatever dopamine is available to be more potent. Okay, so caffeine's great for some people, less good for people with anxiety, don't drink it too late in the day because it will interfere with your sleep, and so on and so forth. But many people will combine caffeine with music that they particularly like. Music's great. Music can stimulate dopamine release. We know this. It can enhance motivation, especially if it's the kind of music that really puts you in the groove for the particular type of work you're going to do. For me, I like to listen to either loud, fast music or Glenn Gould classical piano. So one or the other, I know what's right for me for a given time. You'll know what's right for you for a given time and your preferences. But what will happen is people will start consuming caffeine at higher and higher levels. Again, caffeine isn't necessarily bad, but they'll start doing that and they'll start layering it in or stacking very potent music, potent for them, plus things like L-tyrosine. Again, none of these things are terrible on their own. In fact, they can be very beneficial. Sometimes they'll start taking mucunipurine. Sometimes they'll start relying on things like Adderall, Ritalin. And pretty soon what's happening is they're getting these big waves in that dopamine wave pool, big peaks. And within a few days or maybe even within a few hours, they're depleted and they're at that low. And then as Dr. Anna Lemke, who was a guest on the podcast, talked about in terms of addiction, but also in her wonderful book, Dopamine Nation, What happens is after those big peaks in dopamine, the reservoir, the baseline in dopamine drops below its initial level. So it's as if the reservoir got deeper and it's emptier and it takes much, much longer to fill.